Have you ever considered what happened before the Big Bang? About 13.7 billion years ago, our universe exploded into being. A huge amount is understood about what happened after the Big Bang, to within 10 to the minus 43 seconds of it, in fact. But anything earlier and things start to get a bit blurry. Before this moment, all of the matter in the universe would have been within what is termed a singularity, where all of the laws of physics as we know them break down, including the notion of time itself. The question, what happened before the Big Bang, no longer applies, because if time does not exist at the singularity, there is no before. Einstein always said it's a bit like trying to find somewhere north of the North Pole. But let's be honest, this doesn't quite satisfy our inquisitive minds. The human desire to pair up cause and effect, cause and effect, is so strong that the idea that there was nothing before the Big Bang defies the most primitive of all logics. Physicists, cosmologists, mathematicians and philosophers have all put forward theories as to what the ultimate cause was, some with more credibility than others. Some simply suggest that the universe has existed forever. But if this is true, given an infinite amount of time, anything that can happen should have already happened. So by now, the universe should have reached a state where all physical processes have run their course, which obviously they haven't. Another possibility is that our universe is not the first, but actually one in a long line of cyclical universes. If the Big Bang was actually the Big bounce, then rewinding time would take us through the immensely hot, dense beginning of our universe and into the immensely hot, dense end of the previous universe. So if this is true, we can continue to rewind back through cycles of contraction and expansion, but then what started the infinite bouncing in the first place? We're back to square one. Even if it's not the first universe, perhaps it's one of many, making up a multiverse. Some suggest that ours is just a bubble amongst a vast array of others. And if any of these bubbles were to collide, they would leave a distinct circular pattern in the cosmic microwave background, which we should be able to detect, but nothing has been found yet. Paul Steinhardt and Neil Turok have a multiverse concept that utilises the great number of dimensions proposed by string theory. Consider our universe, with three conventional dimensions plus time, to be floating around space in a type of membrane, represented in this case by a slice of bread. Many other membranes might exist right alongside each other, each containing its very own universe. It's thought that they might actually interact via gravity. In this case, the dark energy that we think accelerates the expansion of our universe might actually be the remnant of the gravitational pull from other membranes, other universes. And when such membranes collide, it's this that sets off a cataclysmic Big Bang event, and the rest, they say, is history. But this, of course, requires string theory to be correct, and not everyone can agree on that. In fact, the scientific pioneers of our world can't agree on much when it comes to what happened before the Big Bang. The only answer we can really give to this question is, we just don't know. Those trying to solve the question are dealing with an extremely difficult problem that often polarises opinion. In many ways, it's an unenviable job. In many ways, it's the most exciting. For more thought-provoking science, please subscribe to Earth Unplugged. Have you ever considered what would happen if the Earth stopped spinning? The Earth rotates at 1,670 kilometers per hour. If we stopped suddenly, the effects would be 
catastrophic. We and everything not deeply rooted to the planet would be thrown sideways. So what about the longevity of your heart? Well, depending on your health and fitness, the average heart rate is 70 beats per minute. This equates to 100,000 beats per day and 35 million beats per year. 